During the course of this video, we will be learning on how to use the psychrometric chart. Shown is the psychrometric chart for the air-water system taken from principles of mass transfer and separation processes by Binadatta. Firstly, the horizontal axis at the bottom show the dry bulb, wet bulb and dew point temperature. Next, the absolute humidity on the right vertical axis. While the other side of the vertical axis are the enthalpy and humid volume. Besides that, there are also exists the relative humidity lines. The circle now is the adiabatic saturation curve. In addition, the enthalpy of saturated and dry air line are also shown. Finally, the saturated humid line as well as specific volume dry air line are also present. In order to use this particular psychrometric chart, we only need to have any two of the humidity properties to find all the other values. Now that we know all the related properties, we will then proceed on how to use the chart using a simple example. From the given data, firstly extend a line vertically from 60 degrees Celsius which symbolizes the dry bulb temperature. Then draw another line upwards for the wet bulb temperature at 30 degrees Celsius until it touches the 100% humidity line. As the wet bulb temperature is equal to adiabatic saturation temperature in a water-air system, the line can then be extended diagonally and parallel to the adiabatic saturation curve until they intersect with dry bulb line. From the intersection point, extend the line to the right axis yielding value for absolute humidity of 0.014 kJ per kilogram dry air. Draw a horizontal line from the same point to the left until it reaches the 100% humidity line. Then, drag the line downwards to obtain the dew point temperature equal to 21.7 degrees Celsius. At that point as well, the relative humidity can be obtained for approximately 9%. For the enthalpy and humid volume, Draw a vertical line from the wet bulb temperature until it meets both enthalpy of saturated air and saturated humid volume line. Drag a line to the left axis to obtain enthalpy equals to 94.2 kJ per kilogram dry air. And another line further left to get humid volume equals to 0.891 meter cubic per kilogram dry air.